Yafia. Today it is an Arab town with about 20,000 inhabitants, most of them Muslims and a minority of Christians. Yafia was an ancient city, appearing in the letters of Al Amarna from the 14th century BC, about 3,500 years ago. Mentioned in the Book of Joshua, which was in the territory of the tribe of Zebulun. The name probably indicates the beauty of the city, and in Arabic it was called Yafit a Natsara, the Jaffa of Nazareth, in order to differentiate it from the city of Jaffa. During the Great Revolt of the Jews against the Romans, Which led to the destruction of the temple, it was a large and important city in the Galilee. Yosef ben Matityahu, the leader of the Jewish rebels in the Galilee, fortified it with a double wall. Vespasian, who commanded the Roman forces and later became emperor of Rome, sent the 10th Legion with thousands of warriors to fight the Jews. During the battle that began outside the walls, the Romans were stronger, the defenders of the city retreated to between the walls. The Romans broke through the first outer wall, a bloody battle took place between the outer wall and the inner one. The townspeople locked the gates of the inner wall, and did not allow their warrior brethren to enter the city, despite their shouting and pleading. More than 10,000 warriors were killed within the walls. Titus, the son of Vespasian, arrived with another army, on either side of the city, they climbed the inner wall with the help of ladders. Entered the city and massacred its inhabitants. Most of the townspeople were killed, the women and children were sold into slavery. The city was destroyed and abandoned. After the uprising, the Jewish community returned. Archaeological excavations include a synagogue from the 4th century AD. With the rise of Christianity in the Byzantine period, which was after the Roman, the prestige of the neighboring settlement, Nazareth, rose. According to Christian tradition, Yafia was the birthplace of the apostles Jacob and John, sons of Zebedee. Until before the War of Independence, several hundred Christian Arabs, as well as Bedouin, lived there. After the war, refugees arrived from abandoned villages in the area of today's Migdal Hemak. Today, the place has grown and connected with the city of Nazareth.